all of you hope you guys are great so this one is the second part of our real estate smart contract in the first part we have built all the logic all the functionality for listing the property getting property updating pricing updating property data getting individual property so if you haven't watched the first part a link in the i button on the description so you guys can follow that in this video we're going to cover the second part of a smart contract and that we're going to work on the review model for the things we have left and which we have discussed in the last video so i would recommend you to watch the last video if you haven't watched it and now if you have watched it you can continue from here so we have all of this function we have this add review get product review we have get user review like a review and we have get highest rated product okay so altogether we have five function now let's write it down so let's start working on the first function add review and in that we're going to take a couple of variables so the first one is going to be the product id and the second we're going to take the let's say the rating of the product and the third one is going to be the comment it will be call data comment once we have the command after that we're going to take the user address because we are not using message.sender so we'll take the user address and in that we have to check a couple of conditions so we have to check for a rating okay? because we want the user to allow rating between 1 to 5 not more than 5 or not less than 5 so that's the condition we have to check so we'll build a condition we'll say rating if it's greater or equal to 1 and it should be the small than five so this is the condition if they give rating beyond this we'll throw this error message so let's type the error message rating must be between one and five so these are the condition we have built now we have to simply update the data so first we have to find the particular product and that's very easy to do it so we'll take this review so we'll take this come up here so this is the entire product we have hope in this we are keeping the address of the reviewer and the message in this reviews okay i made a spelling mistake it's not review double e and i have to provide the e okay so let's come here let me give this e e now reviewer if i make any spelling mistake please forgive me because i'm really bad with the spelling okay so in this we're going to keep the address of the reviewer let's push the address in that so we'll keep that and let's come up here we have to push the address to this user okay now we have to push the message so we'll take this reviews and we're going to push that into the reviews reviews push to and we'll pass command and we have to find that particular product okay so we are pushing the data but in which product we are pushing the data so i forgot to take that one so come here we have to find the product first the property we'll say property and we have this array inside that we're going to pass the id which we are taking from the user okay so simply come up here and provide this one so that's the entire review it's looking absolutely fine so once we have all of these things we have to simply come up here review section okay so for what we're going to do is we're going to take this review because this data we have passed it's going to be in the product the property struct and now we have defined the variables in the review section so we have to push and update the data into that as well so let's update the review struct we have taken so we have this review and that we're going to pass the product id and we're going to push that okay so we're going to push this to review so let's push this review and in that we have to pass all of the data user product id we have to product the rating and we have to assign the comment so that's what we are updating and initial like is going to be zero so if you come up here this is the entire struct we are updating we have reviewer product id rating comment and likes so things looks pretty fine to me okay so that's the data we are updating here and here we have zero because this is the like which will keep counting so once we have this one now let's simply come down here once we have this we'll take this user and we're going to push this data into the user struct we have taken the sorry mapping in that we're going to simply push that so we'll say product id so once we have that one now we're going to take this product and we're going to simply update that product stack we have taken so we'll pass this product id and we're going to simply take this so we have the product id now we have to take this total rating and in that we're going to simply increment increment rating and we'll take this product id and we have to simply increment the number of reviews hope you guys haven't forgot that and we have to increment that so that looks pretty fine if you come here this, this is the data we are updating product id total rating and number of reviews so that looks pretty fine to me come up here now this looks good 
Now here we have to initialize the event. So we'll take this review and in that we have to pass all of this data. We have the product ID and we have to provide the user and the rest would be fine. So that looks absolutely amazing. And here we're going to simply increment the product uh, review counter because this will keep the track of that how many reviews like we are getting as whole. Okay. Because we are using this particular variable to assign and build the product key. So that looks pretty fine. We are done with entire add review functionality. So, okay. So I hope you guys have understood that what logic we have built and how we are updating that. Okay. So this is the first function add review. And now we have to work on the second function, which is a get product review. So we have to fetch all the review, which a user will give to a particular, particular pro property. Okay. So first thing we have to take a couple of variables. So we'll take the product ID. So we'll take the product ID and on the base of this ID, we have to fetch the entire information because when we're going to fetch the information about the reviews and the product in the product detail page, so where we're going to display all of this data, okay, number of review, number of products, likes, user have liked the product and all of this data, okay. So we have to pass the product ID and we here we are re returning the entire review. You can see that we have the entire review struct and now we have to simply return that. So first thing we have to do is we have to take this return variable, okay. And here we're going to take this review mapping and that we have to simply pass the product ID and this will give us the entire review for that particular particular product ID. Okay, which uh, which which uh, product has got. Okay. <clears throat> so just a moment you can see there is a lot of noise at the background. That's a regular stuff. So that's the product review function. Hope this makes sense to all of you guys. Now it's working absolutely fine. And this will give us the entire review for a single product. If you come up here and here we are so this is the one which we are returning from this one so simply close this one and now we have to build a function work on this function get user review so with this function we'll try to find out all the reviews a particular user have given in this marketplace not related to the any specific property but all the review so this particular information we're going to display in his portfolio section in the profile page okay so let's come up here. Here we have to simply provide the address of the user. And once we have the address, we have to simply build the condition. First, we have to take this variable total review. The same logic we have to follow here as well, because we have to calculate the entire review we have in the marketplace. And from there, we have to match the address of the user, the particular user with the review, the review provider. And we have to match it. If the address matches, only we have to keep those, those reviews so we can display in his portfolio. Uh, sorry in his profile page so we'll take this total review it's going to be a uh, user review so we'll pass this one user and then so this will give us the entire review we have in the marketplace belonging to the particular user okay it will give us a length now we'll come up here here we're going to take this entire review array will memory and we'll take this user after that we have the user product okay review and we'll take this new because we want to return a new array and in that we have to simply pass a couple of things. So we have to pass the length. So we want to retrieve total review. Okay. So this is the one simply copy and paste. <coughs> so things looks fine. Now come up here. Now we have to run the for loop and that will take a UNT variable. I is equal to zero. I is less than the user reviews user mm, dot length. And we have to simply increment that one and that we have to simply come up here. We're going to take another variable. We'll take this product ID. Once we have the product ID, we have to simply take this user reviews and we have to simply say user dot I. So that's the simple logic we have done. We have simply tried to find out the product ID. Once we have that one, we have to take this user, sorry, review memory product. So product review once we have the review we have to simply come up here we will take this entire reviews and in that we're going to simply pass the product id so we can have the review related to that specific user and now we have to simply run another for loop to check so we'll take this unt variable and this time we're going to take this j because we have already taken the i so we have to run another loops because right now we have the length we have the array on on that we're going to run this another one so we'll say j if j is less than the product because that's the new length we have product review then we have to simply review simply this is the one we have now we'll simply going to 
take the length and we are going to simply increment the value because we have new new increment that j okay i'm getting error i have to provide this okay still i'm getting an error so simply remove this one and i have problem in the okay i misspelled the length simply come here type length now look fine so once we have that we'll check for a condition if product i review product reviews j then we have to take that reviewer and we have to match the user the address we are, the user is providing which we are interested in for having it okay so let's come up here so that's the address we are trying to match with the user so that looks fine so once this condition get fulfilled we have to store this data we'll take a user and use a product review we'll say i and we're going to simply update this so we'll say product review j so that looks pretty fine once we have that we have to simply return the data the user product review so this will keep the entire review for a single user so we can easily able to fetch and we can render in the front end so hope this entire logic makes sense to all of you guys because the, we have two for loops and then we are checking for the if con if uh, if condition so first we are trying to run a loop on the entire review and try to find out the particular review based on the user then we are trying to find out his reviews on the product and the entire review, and then we are simply rendering okay if it sounds complicated just pause the video and try to rewatch it try to understand that what logic we have built and if it's still you have any confusion let me know in the comment section so i will i will explain on that so that looks fine that's all the for loops we have and that's the product we are reviews we are returning at the end simply close this form now we have to work on the like review okay so like if someone will give the review in a particular property so this function will allow them to like the review like the review okay so that's the logic we're going to build here we're going to take this variable so we need the product id because that's the unique identifier we have and we're going to take the unt the reviewer review index and we'll take the address user can you guess why i have taken this review index because every single review will have a unique index unique index value and on the base of that we can easily able to find and give like or retrieve data for that particular review okay so who liked that review who given the review okay so that's the entire logic every single review will have a unique index so it will start from 0 1 2 3 4 the more review it will get this index will go up so these are the three data we are taking in this function so once we have the three data first thing we have to do is we have to find the review and we have to say struct reviews and we have to simply find the specific one so we'll say product id so we have that one and we get the specific one and we're going to simply pass the review index okay so this will give us the that particular review which user is trying to like so once we have that particular review what we can do after that we're going to simply check this one we'll take this review dot like and we have to increment that because obviously because initially when someone will give the review the like value will be zero so this will allow them to increase that value so that's why we have to 2 plus plus means we have to increment that value so we have this and then we have to simply emit the event so we have this event call we are passing the product id review index we have to pass the user instead of liker we can pass the user so we'll say come here user and this will become the come here so let's replace this one with the review and likes so in this way we can easily able to have the data okay that's what we have done here so that looks pretty fine all of this looking absolutely amazing that's a very simple function okay we are taking this three data then we are finding that particular review then we are incrementing the review count and then we are initializing the event that's a simple thing so we are done with this function like review now we can start working on the last function which is the highest rated product and this one is a little bigger because we have to deal with the complexity so the, this is how we going to work on this function first we'll going to find out that which product has got the highest like okay let's me code that one so this is the one we have in that we going to come here and this function is not going to take any input because we want to return the highest highest engaged product it will return the id of that product so we can use that id to fetch the information of that particular product so we'll take the unit variable we'll take this highest highest come here highest let me check the spelling highest rating and it will be zero initially start from zero and then we'll take this another one will be saying highest highest rated 
product id is going to be a 0 now we'll come here here we're going to run the for loop and we'll take the unt 256 i is equal to 0 i is less than we have the review reviews counter because this is the this is the variable which keep the track of how many reviews we are getting okay then we have to simply increment that okay if you come up here this is the variable we have taken which keep the track of number of review we are getting in the marketplace so come here once we have that one now we have to build the condition so we'll take a, another variable unt and we have to take the product id and this will come from i plus one okay so whenever this loop will run it's going to increment so we'll have that one and we'll have to check for a condition if product have the product id with the number of re reviews means if the particular product has the number of reviews greater than zero then we have to simply take a variable and we have to say average rating and we have to do the calculation okay it's a simple mathematics so we'll take the product id so we have to take the particular product and the total rating it got we have to divide that one with the product and in that we're going to simply pass the product id so we can divide that and we're going to divide this with number of reviews so this will give us the average of the average rating of the product okay so here we are calculating the average of the product based on the rating and the number of review it got simple mathematics so once we have the average rating of the product what we can do come up here and the reason why we have built this logic because one person can create multiple review okay one person can create a multiple review so that's the thing we have keeping in track here we're going to take this if statement if average rating is greater than the highest rating then we have to set the highest rating equal to the average rating and we have to set the highest rated product id to the product id the product which we want to return from this okay so that's the if statement now we have to come up here and we have to simply return the product id which we have got from this so that's the entire logic for getting the product id which causes the highest rating and the average is high so that looks pretty fine very beautiful function we have which keep the track okay so if it sounds complicated i just want you to re-watch the video try to understand that what logic we have built how we are calculating the average and how we are assigning the values and returning from this function so that's the entire function we have for the highest rated product and this is the two variables this is the for loop this is the if statement then we are checking for the average and at the end we are returning this product so with that we are done with this entire function so let's come up here let me close this one and we are done with this if you come up here let me check one more time everything's okay yes everything's okay this is the property struct this is the mapping this is the event this is the review section this is the product this is the mappings the count events this is the first function property listed update property we have the update pricing we have the buy get all properties get properties we have this get user property so things looks pretty awesome to me get user likes and highest product so things are looking fine to me things are looking fine to me and that's the only thing i want to cover in this video and finally we are done with the entire smart contract and later if we find that we need to add more functionality into our contract but definitely we'll come back and we're going to add it I have a couple of ideas and if you guys have any idea about the functionality do let me know in the comment section so we can include in the later videos okay so do let me know that what extra function you want to have this marketplace i want you to write down in the comment section so i can build, build the design for that but for the time being i will go with this approach okay so now in the next video i'm going to test this smart contract in the remix id we can do that in the in the in the in the test environment like hard at is there but I don't want to write unnecessary code. Ultimately, we have to check the data we are retrieving from the function. That's the entire motive I have to check when we are calling this particular function, we are getting that or not. We are getting that output or not. So that's the only check I want to do. And that's what I'm going to do in the Remix ID. So make sure to watch the next video and that I'm going to do the testing of the contract. So with that, let's move to the now. So with that, let's move to the next video. And if you want to do my channel, hit like and subscribe and do follow this complete project, which will teach you tons of things about the Web3 application and how you can write the smart contract. So let's move to the next video. Have a wonderful day.